We have been reporting on George in a way that few can, from the perspective of a hurricane hunter. Tonight we continue our team coverage with more from Chief Meteorologist Matt Hinkin and his amazing trip through the eye of the storm. Matt. Clay, the hurricane hunters get the most beautiful views of these storms, but it's much more than a relaxing, sightseeing excursion. This crew's work affects the lives of millions on the ground. So far, it looks like it's trying to form back up, and it's using a lot of its energy to try to reform the eye wall. The eye wall's about 70% around right now, and hopefully by the time we get our next pass, we'll get 80 or 90% before we leave, we'll have the whole eye wall. You must really be near an island. Yeah, you're almost right on top of it. The six-member crew consists of a pilot, co-pilot, engineer, navigator, weather officer, and a drop sond operator. It's a drop sond that gets the vital data from the walls of the hurricane as the instrument is literally dropped from the aircraft into the storm. Uh, transmits data twice per second. It's got dual humidity sensors, single temperature sensor. Parachute in this end slows the descent rate to 2,500 feet per minute. That's about all there is to it. Really feels like a tube that you uh, mail a letter in. It's definitely not a uh, quiet ride here on the C-130 as we head toward Hurricane George. It's not a smooth one either. But once we get there, 13,000 feet elevation right now, we'll drop to about 5,000 feet elevation, collect data, move up to about 10,000 feet elevation, collect more data, interpret it here on the aircraft, send it to the National Hurricane Center, and they'll put out the new hurricane forecast for George. The storm remained a Category 2 hurricane during our mission. After 14 drop sons, 2,400 miles, 10 hours of flight time, and six passes through the eye of the storm, it was nice to be on solid ground once again. That was good. Unfortunately, George turned out to be an unlucky card for this casino and much of the Gulf Coast as he gained even more strength before pounding ashore. I must tell you, the hurricane hunters tracked George 24 hours a day for well over a week. They are both glad, and we all are glad George is winding down. Some have said I was out of my mind flying into a hurricane. Actually, it was much, much smoother than I ever dreamed it would be, and it was better than being on the ground, obviously. And yes, if you're asking, I probably would do it again. <laughs> I definitely would. What an adventure, huh? Yes. Yeah. Uh, a lot of folks have asked, including you two, about what happens to the drop sound after it hits the ocean floor. Mm -hmm. It just goes wherever Absolutely. the current takes it. It's gone. Yeah. There, it sends its information back, it and that's it. It just does its job, and once it lands, it's eaten by a shark or goes ashore or whatever. Yeah. It is biodegradable. Uh, let's <laughs> yes. hope so. Let's All hope right. journey. All right. Yes. Thanks, Matt.